it's Ron back with another video on Ron Brown's YouTube channel where we cover a lot of drone and, and, and you know, drone gear. So today uh, we do have a drone video. We, we cover other things besides drones, but we mostly do drones. But so today is a drone video. It's uh, on the uh, DJI uh, uh, Mini 3 Pro um, and uh, gimbal cover courtesy of the good folks over at Start RC. You can see the little logo there. I'll put a link down below if you'd like to get this um, you know, cover for the uh, Mini 3 or the Mini 3 Pro, but but on to the video here. Um, I took the Mini 3 out, the Mini 3 Pro out recently for a little flight down at the beach, and, um, you know, I, I was shooting, uh, you know, my normal style, and I was kind of, kind of down the beach uh, a good ways from the uh, condominium towers on, on the beach here at Margate City, and the shot just wasn't that interesting. It was sunset, and uh, it wasn't really no dramatic clouds uh, going on that night. But um, you know, nevertheless, it was, a, it was a good sunset. So um, I, I was doing this side to side shot. I don't know all my, um, you know, filming uh, uh, names. You know, like uh, I'll talk about a crane shot later and a um, reveal shot. But I don't know which when you just go fly sideways. So I was flying sideways uh, uh, down the sunset. You know, the, trying to get some. Um, you know, uh, reflection off the uh, condo towers, but it just wasn't that interesting with shots. So, um, you know, I know this doesn't have the big zoom lens that say the Mavic 3 has, the the the, the, the first Mavic 3, the one with the zoom lens, but um, I put it in the 2X on, uh, when you shoot 4K 30, you can uh, go into a 2X zoom on this. And I, again, I know it's not a um, loss of zoom or anything like that, or like the, the 8X, uh, uh, you know, zoom on the, uh, Mini 3, uh, Mavic 3, but uh, I was kind of, at this point of day, it was low light, it was kind of like a dreamy, um, uh, kind of foggy type of uh, conditions anyway, so I mean, I didn't need um, something that was, you know, uh, super sharp detailed or whatever, uh, I was kind of going for more of a, kind of a soft, um, kind of mysterious type of look to it. Sorry, my voice still cracks from that darn cold I had almost a month ago. A mysterious look. So I popped it into, uh, you know, uh, uh, the 2X. Now, the very first shot I'm going to show you, I'm flying side to side in just, you know, just the regular, whatever the regular X is. And then I, I that wasn't working. So I, I quickly tried the 2X, and it just created a much more dramatic shot. I mean, the towers looked like they were right in front of me. The sun was playing peekaboo through the different towers. I was getting, you know, uh, sun reveal, sun behind, sun popped out again. It just made for a much more interesting and dramatic shot. So I'm going to roll that clip for you. Like I said, the first shot will be just at the, the regular zoom length. And then I hit the 2X button. And the rest of the, that clip will be at the 2x so again i do a side to side i mean I, I i go out to the ocean i come back to the ocean and then i do a standard like fly towards the towers and see what you think uh what did you think was the better shot and uh you know what did you think uh, 2x um you know on these shots so okay we're gonna roll that clip and then we're gonna come back uh, with some more clips so roll it <laughs> I hope you enjoyed those, uh, you know, those clips that I used the 2X on. Um, you know, let me know what you thought of them down below in the comments if you were kind of impressed as I was by what 2X did for that, that type of shot. So it's just good to get out there and play around with your different, uh, uh, you know, we'll say focal lengths, even on a drone that has probably mostly a digital zoom here. As far as I know, that 2X is just a digital crop and it's not uh, anything lossless or anything like that. So, okay, the next shots coming up were... Um, 
you know, this was a few minutes later. The sun had uh, was setting uh, kind of below the horizon. I mean, it was just on the top of the horizon. It wasn't quite below it yet. And uh, I had to deal with a much more um, lower uh, or less, uh, you know, light. So a very low light situation. And the Mini uh, 3 Pro does have that wide open 1.7 inch uh, wide aperture. So um, it's own adjustable. So it's always at that, uh, you know, extremely uh, uh, wide open. So um, I, I know I, I was shooting mostly in auto. I don't know exactly where to put the ISO out. I did not adjust the ISO myself. I'll let the drone uh, pick that. Uh, you know, I have played around with the ISO before, but in this case, I was more concerned with, uh, you know, flying and getting shots than I was uh, adjusting the ISO. And I, I did want to see how it, 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 it did in auto as well. So I was flying towards the towers at that point. So, uh, you know, using my settings, I did have to balance um, you know, the overexposure in the sky versus the, you know, crushing the shadows on the ground. So, uh, the end result is I got the, you know, I got the ground, uh, better adjusted than I did the sky. So I don't, yeah, I didn't completely, um, you know, crush the, 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 you know, the shadows on the ground, but I did kind of blow up the highlights at the top of the photo. So, um, you know, I just have to make a compromise there. Uh, this drone just doesn't have the dynamic range to get both of them in this situation, you know, exactly the way I wanted them. So I, I didn't want the shadows to be completely crushed. So we blew out the sky a little bit here. Just uh, my decision, maybe I'd have made a different decision at another time, but that, that's what I did at this point. So I kind of, you know, I fly towards the towers and I do kind of a reveal at some point on the shot. So, okay, we're going to roll that clip and then let me know what you think when we uh, come back. Roll the clip. Okay, um, I hope you enjoyed that uh, kind of low light uh, clip there, whatever test of uh, how this drone can perform in low lights and the kind of the decisions you have to make about what you want, um, whether you want your highlights uh, to be uh, right or whether you want your, you know, your shadows to, to, to be uh, more correct. So uh, I just made that decision. I could have got the highlights better and, and crushed the ground, but uh, that's what I did this time. So the last couple clips here will be... Um, you know, some uh, more, uh, you know, kind of classic shots. I do a, uh, you know, I'm, I'm low on the ground at some point. I'm flying, you know, uh, I want to say less than 50 feet, you know, below the ground. Now I'm flying along the dunes. And I, again, I fly, you know, towards the sunset here. And uh, I'm even in more low light than I was in the last shot. The, you know, the uh, sun is probably dipped below the horizon. I'm ending the flight here. Um, and I'm flying this low. And, um, Again, we're uh, we're not we're not uh, blowing the highlights out as much uh, here because we're lower to the ground, and, and the sun is going down a little bit more. But we're trying not to crush the shadows on the ground. So we're uh, we fly towards the sunset. We fly back with a reveal shot, and we end with a crane shot. And a crane shot is one where you uh, you know you fly kind of straight up like an old style movie crane, like a, a crane kind of uh, reveal or whatever uh, the sun behind the buildings in, in the distance here. So, um, and just sort of a, you know, a low lighter here. Now, as I rose, um, you know, uh, the, the, of course the, the light got better, the higher the drone was, the more light it revealed when I was extremely low to the ground, uh, I was dealing with not much low light at all. So again, it was a balance, the whole, you know, the whole second part of this video was a balance between getting a, not, not blowing the highlights out and not crushing the shadows and just doing some classic shots, some classic reveals, you know, cranes, whatever that side shot's called in a professional movie uh, thing. But I, I think the, the point of this video, um, well, I'm gonna, we're going to come back with the conclusions here. So roll that video again. <laughs>
All right. Uh, again, I hope you enjoyed that last uh, clip there or whatever. I, I kind of like that reveal shot. The ad, I mean, the crane shot, the ad here. And just to summarize, um, you know, I know that the Mini 3 Pro is not the uh, the Mavic 3. It, it doesn't have the dynamic range. It's, it, it's not as good. I, to me, it's not as good in low light, even though it has that, that wide open aperture. The Mavic 3 with its bigger, you know, uh, micro, micro four thirds sensor with its 2.8 inch aperture. I, I, I think I like it better in a low light just because it has more dynamic range i don't have to make as many uh you know kind of key decisions between either either saving the highlights or saving the um shadows or whatever as i do with a you know a smaller sensor drone like the um the, the mini 3 pro but i still think the mini 3 pro did a great job in these uh tricky situations or whatever or very challenging situations especially for a, a mini drone with a smaller sensor i mean i'm completely happy uh, with what it can do at the price range, you know, it is, um, I think it's still an incredible, uh, incredible little mini drone, my, uh, probably my favorite mini drone, um, you know, I mean, there's, there's basically in my mind, three good mini drones out there, your Mini 3 Pro, your, um, uh, Altel Nano Plus, and your all reliable, um, you know, DJI Mini 2, which, you know, one did done well in this, um, you know, low light situation all because of the, you know, uh, the small sensor and the, um, the aperture is not as wide open as the other two drones I, I just mentioned. But uh, anyhow, um, I, I said I'm still, you know, a big fan of the of the Mini 3 Pro, uh, even in these type of lighting situations. So um, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this, this testing. And I, I really hope you enjoyed it, especially. I, I love that clip, that second clip where I've zoomed, zoomed in. I'm going side to side. And the sun's playing peekaboo through there. Like I said, I know it's not a digital zoom. I mean, I know it's a digital zoom. It's not a uh, optical zoom or lossless two X zoom. But I still thought for this the situation I was using in, it, it, it worked well. In other situations, it may show grain. It may not be sharp enough. Uh, may not show enough detail. But I didn't need uh, any of that in the situations where I was uh, shooting here today. So. Um, Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll say the same things I always say. I don't have those pop-ups for the video, so I just say them real quick at the end. Thumbs up for the video. If you got anything out of it, help the video get out to um, the, the general YouTube audience, and not just my subscribers will see it. The more thumbs up it gets, um, you know, uh, please um, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you want to see more drone uh, videos about the Mini 3, uh, uh, Mini 3 Pro, Mavic 3, we're still doing Air 2S content, still doing uh, all Tell Nano Plus content, uh, ring the bell so you know when I post another video up. And, you know, if you have any, you know, again, any questions, any feedback, positive or negative, put them down in the comments. Even even just say hello in the comments if you if you want to tell me where you're where you're from or whatever. And um, I'm gonna put links down below, uh, uh, Amazon affiliate links for the uh, drone that stored RC cap or whatever, and, and some other stuff I I can think of. And uh, there's always um, you know uh, in the description down below, I'll have a PayPal link where you can buy me a, a hot cup of coffee and these cold winter months here up in the northeast and it's also a a uh, beside the thumbs up on the menu uh where you leave thumbs up there's also a thanks button where you can you know uh send as little as a dollar nine not dollar nine nine donation you to your youtube concrete creator content creator and i will use any of these um gifts or whatever to um Put money back into the uh, channel buy more new gear new drugs review coming for the you know 2023 which hopefully you know is another good year for drone releases and, and tech gear in general so that's it folks and we will see you in the next one